Hey guys, Tabby here and welcome back to my channel. So guys, as you can tell, I have a, another box from the Wizarding Trunk. For those who don't know, this is a Harry Potter subscription box. It is bi-monthly, which means it comes every two months. And this box is actually based off year six, the Half-Blood Prince. But if you are interested in checking them out, I will leave their website in the description as always. So yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this. So if you are interested, keep watching and let's get into and it. Guys, I'm very sorry if I sound weird. I've been sick pretty much all this week um, so my throat is still kind of huh. I feel like I sound super super weird but hopefully not and sneak peek oh I'm already loving the first item this book is property of Runil Runil Waslib I never even like tried to pronounce that. This is when Ron bought that quill from Fred and George shop. I think it was like supposed to make sure all your words are spelled correctly, but then it was kind of like running out of power, magic, I don't know, but then, and they wrote his name as this, which Harry used as a cover story as his nickname, so. But yes, spoilers on the back. Like I've said in previous unboxings, I love that the Wizarding Trunk always kind of does something a little extra with their spoiler item, so it's not just a throwaway sheet, it's actually kind of part of the box. We have a personalized item. This is a certificate that says Tabitha Langley has mastered the three D's of apparition. So destination, determination, and deliberation. I want to get this framed like hardcore. That is awesome. You guys know I am a big sucker for having personalized item in a box. I kind of wish this wasn't so dark. Like it's very dark in some spots, but I adore it so much. Yes. Look at all these squiggles. And next we have some Pygmy Puff Sugar Scrub. This is from Alchemy for the Skin. Let's smell it. Ooh, like glitter. Oh, this smells amazing. It just says fragrance oil, so I'm not sure what smell this is, but guys, I really wish you could smell this. Oh my God, that smells amazing. Ooh, it's like, a jello consistency. Ooh, that is funky. I cannot wait to try this. Yes. Next, we have a candle, and it says Jenny Orange Blossom 4 ounce soy candle in Flamer candles. That is such a pretty label. And I love Jenny. Like, the movie did not do her justice. Like, she was such a BA in the books. <sighs> but let's see what it looks like. So, just yellowish orange Ugh, orange guys i'm a sucker for orange oh my gosh i love it so far as usual i am loving this box and next we have a potion and guys it is liquid luck and it is that kind of same magical i don't even know how they do this potion that is amazing it really is just like magic. I can just hear Gilderoy Lockhart in the back of my head. This is just like magic. <laughs> now, the only thing I will say about this is I am not a big fan of the label because it looks like they left a little white on the bottom right here. Like, I'm pretty sure that was an accident because it looks like they cut up here. So it just has that little bit of white. Again, that's just me nitpicking um, because I really like my potions to look as authentic as possible. So this is not my favorite label, but the potion in it is, ugh. Next, we have an enamel pen. Oh my gosh, this is another pin from the books and I adore that the Wizarding Trunk is doing their enamel pins off stuff that was only in the book. But it says, now, now, not so fast or I'll think you're only here for my trinkets. This is, um, Madam, oh my God. I am blanking on her name. I'm such a fake fan. Oh my gosh, what is her name? 
but this is when Tom Riddle worked at Borgen and Burks and his job was to go to people's houses and try to get them to sell their trinkets and this is the lady that he killed to get the Hufflepuff cup and the Slytherin locket um, and made it look like her house elf accidentally poisoned her. I can't remember her name but I adore, adore this pin so freaking much and next we have a sticker and you guys know I am personally such a big fan of Harry Potter stickers I collect them I have quite a few but this is Luna Lovegood's glasses and then it has her bunny Patronus and it says exceptionally ordinary which I am and I love that it has the dirigible plums on here or radishes <laughs> That is so pretty. I love Luna. She's one of my favorite characters. So yes. Next we have a very pretty blue box with a bow. Darkness from Peru. This is instant darkness powder. I think that's what it's called. From Fred and George's shop. And it's like a stone. Oh, I thought it would actually be like a powder. Oh my God, that is gorgeous though. Like, do you see this thing sparkle? So maybe this is what Fred and George got from Peru and then they had to like grind it down into a powder or something. Or maybe you throw it and it, I don't know, but that is such a cool idea. Wow. I have not disliked any item from this box so far. And next we have a white box. This is really heavy. Ooh, it's another potion. This is a acromantula venom. I probably did not say that right. This venom was humanely harvested from a recently deceased specimen commonly used in the armadillo bile mixture 100% pure, bottled by Pure Blood Apothecary. So, it is this green, thick liquid, kind of similar to their replenishing potion. Oh, I love the green. I'm pretty sure this is from Professor Slughorn when he got venom from Aragog. But again, I can actually kind of see the white from the label. Me nitpicking again. Um, but I do like this label a lot more. Like I like the shape of it. I just kind of wish the white wasn't there. And next we have a, another white box. It is a flask that says Felix Felicis's Liquid Luck. Like this is so freaking cool. That is definitely original. I have never gotten a flask in another box and I love it. I almost want to take it to work with like just water in there and then just see people's reaction. <laughs> to me drinking out of my liquid luck flask. So this is the t-shirt, elite member of the slug club. That is awesome. And again, I love that it's green. I think everybody correlates green with Professor Slughorn. Such a cool shirt and perfect for book six. Now in reality, I definitely would not have been one of the people chosen to join the slug club. <laughs> again, I am not an overachiever at all but I am an elite member now so <laughs> and next we have wait what it's a record like I don't think it's a real record I mean I might be completely wrong I have no idea but it's like a replica of Celestina Warbeck. I don't remember how to pronounce her name, but this is like a Weasley tradition. Molly and them always listen to her record. And I remember Floor was there and she absolutely hated it. Oh my gosh. Like, what? What? That is such a cool item. I adore how the Wizarding Trunk does items based off moments in the books that probably most people wouldn't really remember or know but they are on points with these items like that is oh my gosh i think this might be one of the coolest replicas i have like i am geeking out hardcore right now for this item wow I...
And last but not least, we have some art prints. Oh, this one's giving me all the feels. It is the dark mark over the astronomy tower. This is when Dumbledore died. And you can see the students with them all raising their wands. It is a little blurry, like the image itself, like the details is just blurry. I don't know if it was meant to be like that or not. I mean, it might be. I just feel like some of the detail might have been lost. But again, I still really like this art print, like all the feels, guys all the feels and last but not least we have the Fort Angula with some earmuffs with Hedwig just sitting there and it kind of looks like it's snowing like that is so freaking cute I don't think this is actually maybe a reference to year six because of course this car is now running wild in the Forbidden Forest so maybe it's in the Forbidden Forest just trying to stay warm. I don't know, but that's actually really cute and funny at the same time. But guys, that was everything from the box. Let's take a quick look at the spoiler sheet. So we had 13 items. The festive Ford Anglia print. Oh, okay. While this print wasn't on theme, we saw it and loved it. And it's perfect for a box around the holidays. Okay, I thought it wasn't on theme. The vial of liquid luck. The Exceptionally Ordinary Sticker, the Ginny Candle, the Pygmy Puff Sugar Scrubs, the Darkness from Peru, a very small amount can cause immense darkness, the Vial of Venom, the Here for My Trinkets pen, our first look at two important heirlooms. That is so true because both of those become horcruxes. The 8 ounce liquid luck hip flask, the slug club shirt, the singing sorcerer's vinyl record and record jacket, the wand of print, and the destination determination deliberation personalized certificate of completion. As always, you guys will have to let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite where to freaking begin. I pretty much loved everything from this box. My few favorite, favorite, my favorite of favorite standouts will have to be my personalized certificate for apparition, the enamel pin, which is just awesome, and the vinyl record, like, heck to the yes but I also really loved the instant darkness powder just everything literally this box was absolutely amazing but I would love to hear what you guys thought in the comments down below and as always thank you guys so much for watching if you liked this video give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel hey welcome feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to join my small community of Harry Potter lovers and bookworms and I will see y'all next time bye guys Leave their web. For real, I think that is what I would be most excited for is just being able to apparate. Like, I would miss my audiobooks in the car, but not that much. I'd rather apparate. Stupid train! I don't know if you can see. I'm not flipping you guys off. <laughs> What art thou name? It says exceptionally exceptional exceptionally the derivative um do not get over this rock like it's a rock but I love it this acromantulum acromantula ask. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. That was book seven. There aren't words. So Celestina. Oh my god, I'm awful with names. You should know this. Honestly, might try to. Oh, I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> like that. Oh. I am like epically failing at this moment.